A high school senior in the Utica School District has accomplished something many authors can only dream of. His book has hit number one on Amazon, but that's just part of his inspiring story. Paula Tutman joins us from Wiley Elementary School, the place of inspiration for that young author at a pivotal moment in his life. Hi, Paula. Hey, Jason. So obviously very important things happen in elementary school. This young man is so accomplished at this young age. He's an Eagle Scout. He's a and what happened here at Wiley, oh, I'm sorry, my love. What happened here at Wiley was so inspirational. He wrote this book that's inspiring others. The book is called Will You Be My Friend? It's based off a true story. Of all the books that were released on Amazon.com last week, the one written by 17-year-old Grant Harrison is standing out because he has sold a bunch of them. In his debut week, he is currently ranked as the number one new release for his children's book. Miss Kaida, Grant's teacher, came into the room and said, good morning, class. A senior at Utica High School, the book retells the story of Grant when he was in elementary school. I struggle with, with Asperger's or autism in a way. So I have tons of anxiety. As you can see, it's kind of hard to like make eye contact when I'm talking, all that stuff. And I've always been very fidgety, as you could probably also see here. We had a talent show here that's school-wide. Like when I was like, like getting prepared for the talent show, it was kind of like nerve-wracking. It's like all like the anxieties of being on a stage and performing. Everyone immediately started picking their groups, but once again, Grant was alone. But that pivotal moment he met his first friend was so ingrained in his heart and soul, he wanted others to know about it. Hey Grant, this is Jessica. She's new to our, she is new to our class. I think that you two will work well together. Grant was too nervous to respond. He thought, well, she doesn't want to work with me. Jessica spoke up and said, I would love to work with you, Grant. I'm super excited. When you're talking about autism, like specifically autism, it's, I kind of want to make, like, give the viewpoint that it's not, it's not a disability per se, it's just rather a challenge or a unique way of thinking that you just overcome like normal people. And when he came on to perform because he played the drums, I just got goosebumps because I knew what a big accomplishment this was. And for his parents to see the measure of success he's having with Will You Be My Friend, based on a true story through the eyes and ears of autism. This is a moment to exhale, if only for a moment. It's unbelievable. It, it's just, we're, me and my wife are just absolutely super proud of him and all that he's done. Um, it's, yeah, it's hard to describe. Grant shed, cheer, shed tears of joy because this was the first time he, find, he felt like people finally saw him as someone more than just a kid who fidgets. Yeah, oh, so much more. In fact, he graduates high school this year. He's going to Oakland University to study computer science. And of course, he's going to continue to sell his books on Amazon. Jason, and how about that? School dismissal, over, just that fast. Perfect time of the day. Well done. And you just know that story <laughs> is going to connect with and inspire so many who are just like Grant. Great stuff, Paula. Absolutely. You bet. Still to come. He says he lost his job because of a pandemic protest against his employer. Now the tables have turned. We'll explain that.